Hey guys, how's it going? JDAM here. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and welcome to another episode of Before You Buy. Today, we'll be going over the Glock 18C by Elite Force and Umarex. And I gotta say, for a pistol of a $200 price tag, it does have some pretty nice features. On top of that, some cool and crazy things you can do with it. So let's get into this review. Alrighty, so let's take a look at the Elite Force Glock. So starting off, before I bought this, I actually went to a airsoft shop up in Columbus to kind of just check out and see what they had. A course of stumbling into the doors, I went up to the display case and immediately had my eyes caught to this beauty. Now last time I ran a 18C model was a few years ago and I believe it was a WE model. Now of course, uh, WE at the time was pretty expensive and well, this is expensive in a way too. For $200 you are buying a semi-auto and a full auto gas pistol. So let's talk about this right here. So pulling this out of the box, you get of course the gun itself and of course you get a 50 round magazine, which is pretty good. Now another thing I've also learned about the uh, Elite Force Glock 18 is that this gun works on CO2 and green gas. Now you're probably wondering which model mags work. Uh, apparently uh, these mags are also capable to work with the 17 model. Now of course I've owned the uh, Glock 17 CO2 uh, a few months ago and honestly I wasn't really uh, impressed with the model. It was half ass in the design of how to interchange uh, CO2 carts, which actually led me to go buy the 2011 that you guys see. But of course, I was drawn back to this for the gas system, and I gotta say, after using this, I was pretty impressed with how well. I've actually owned this uh, gas pistol for about uh, four or five weeks, and I have not experienced a leak yet which is phenomenal. So let's move this out of the way and let's take a closer look into the gun. So starting off right here, you're gonna be getting two receivers. You're gonna be getting a nice uh, polymer bottom with a aluminum top. So you'll be getting a aluminum top, a polymer bottom, uh, the barrel, the outer barrel, I should say, is also aluminum to be expected, uh, including the sights and the um, slide release to lock it. Now of course uh, the trigger selection switch right here is uh, plastic. So it is. So uh, looking at this gun, the first thing that had me shocked was the weight. Uh, just the gun itself, it's actually not terrible. You're looking at probably a pound. And then adding the mag, you're looking at two pounds uh, or 1.5 eight nine and then uh, 857 grams not really needed but it does come with a little bit of weight now of course since this is a lighter material you are getting a lighter platform and of course with a lighter slide when it full autos the slide will be able to fully come back and forward a lot better than some other models now of course i don't know how well this is compared to the tokyo murray 18c even though tokyo murray is considered the god when it comes to airsoft but I want to say that there's some other contenders that can definitely put the 18C from Tokyo Murray in its place. And I want to say it's this guy right here. Now, of course, since this is from Elite Force, you will be expecting all of the trademarks on the actual real steel one and a fully licensed product with Glock with a fake serial number and all that jazz. So, yeah. So taking a look at the lower receiver right here, we actually get some a little bit of a staple grip going on, a little bit of a finger indent right here, and of course you get a uh, nice smooth trigger. I want to say the trigger is probably polymer itself with a little bit of a uh, metal indicator right in the center right there. And then of course on the very front you're also getting some grooves in there too, which feels great for people who run without gloves, but I run with gloves, so this, I, I really won't be able to feel it. So another thing that I found that I personally wasn't a fan about this model uh, was the barrel. It is not threaded at all. This is a standard barrel, which doesn't make any sense to me because why would an airsoft company release a handgun without it having threaded 
outer barrel. I mean, for goodness sake, we're airsofters. We like to put a bunch of crazy attachments on it. So there was that disappointment. Now you can put a RMR on this, but I really wanted to put a tracer unit to run this for indoors. This is going to be a probably strictly indoor gun, just for fun, shits and giggles, I like to say. But out of the box, it is pretty solid, I have to say. Now, some of the features of this, uh, of course you're getting a 50 round mag. The gun also works with CO2 mags and green gas mags. I don't know if there's a CO2 stick mag, but I wanna say in the future there probably is. On top of that, if you possibly wanted to get a drum mag for this, AW Customs actually makes drum mags for this. So if you really wanna be that guy who just never has to reload, that can be an option. Now, the FPS on this, we are looking at, oh, I don't know, 300 to 320 is what the website said. I personally don't have a chrono, so I can't for sure confirm that, but around the 300 and 320 mark is what you will be expecting out of this. On top of this, this gun does have a uh, hop-up adjustment, and in order to access the hop-up out of most of the Glocks, it's the same thing, you will be pulling these slides down right here on both sides, and then you slide off the top. Okay, so we're gonna <laughs> slide off the top there. And in doing so, the hop-up wheel is actually right here. Now, of course, from anybody who's owned an Airsoft Glock in the past, they are relatively easy to take apart and upgrade. Uh, you just need to pull out this guy right here, and then you'll have access to the gas blowback unit and the outer and inner barrel that you can take off. I'm not going to just for the uh, review itself, but uh, yeah, so another thing I've also found out is I had my old W.E. slide. Let me go grab that for you guys really quick. So here we have a W.E. slide with some really cool cuts into it. From what I've learned is the slide does go on top and it does fit on the receiver. But the only issue is, is that it somehow seems to grab on to the uh, internals and is unable to fully uh, go back and function. Though I do believe if I take this and probably grind down some uh, parts, including this in the uh, inner and outer barrel, I think I can get it to work. But as of right now, it's gonna take a little bit of manpower to really get this working. So, once you figure it out where the hop-up wheel is, adjusting or putting the slide back on is as easy as, well, one, two, three. You just slide it on to the grooves right here. And then you just slide it, oh, no, not like that. Yep, slide it on, and the gun's good to go. So uh, looking at the gun right here, the selector switch is actually kind of stiff, uh, which is good because the problem I had with the WE Glock 18 is that this guy would move around like crazy. So sometimes when I would pull it back like so, it would actually be on full auto, and then when I pointing on a player, the player would get full autoed and get pissed off, but uh, that doesn't seem to be a problem with the Elite Force, which is nice. I'm glad that they actually uh, were able to get that fixed. That was, that was pretty cool. So it is not bad. It is a little stiff, but I prefer it to be stiff because you don't accidentally want to have it on full auto and spray somebody down. I've done that myself and uh, yeah, they are not a-okay with that. On top of that, you do get a nice cut barrel. I want to say this is proudly for looks. I doubt this has actually any, you know, performance with this. Or maybe it does. I could be wrong. But yeah, so a pretty solid gun out of the way. Now, of course, I am going to get some gameplay of this, and I'll show you guys later in the review. But I also want to show you guys what you can possibly do with this. So, of course, I got this as a fun indoor gun to use uh, at the field. But I also found out apparently you can get some really cool carbine kits with this pistol just itself. So we are going to take a look at some of the carbine kits and kind of give you guys some ideas on what to expect if you do want to pick up this pistol. Alrighty, so here on our desktop we're going to go check out some of the cool carbine kits you can get for the Glock and Glock 18 models. Uh, I like to go to e-bike just because they have everything, but this is the first one I saw by uh, AW Custom. Uh, and for the price, it really isn't terrible. 
Uh, this is one of the things you could possibly do with it if you choose to. Uh, it's an idea that I'm actually thinking of doing. Uh, more of a converting it into a small gas submachine gun uh, for indoors. Uh, possibly putting a tracer unit on it somehow. But this is one of the first models we see. So some of the bundles that I actually found on Evike uh, aren't actually terrible. You do have the normal version where it's just a pistol in the 50 round mag. Or if you would like, you can actually upgrade to the second package where you can get a stick mag, two regular 20 round mags, and a holster. And of course, uh, well, I guess the holster seems good. I don't personally have any experience with it. But of course, then you can get the big boy one where you just get a big ass drum mag. Um, <laughs> I don't know how much gas or if it's uh, HPA adaptable, but let me just say that thing looks like a beefy bitch. Let's show some more carbine kits. Alrighty, so from doing a random search, uh, you can actually get quite a few kits uh, from the top two right there. Uh, it kind of depends on what you really want. I mean, honestly, they all look pretty good. I do know that there's some kits that are not capable of working with the Glock 18C model, but I am 100% sure that all of these work with uh, the Glock 19, the Glock 17, uh, Tokyo Marui, um, WE, all that jazz. And look, you can even get a barrel extension, so I can run the tracer on it, which I am excited. But just taking a grand overview on just parts and everything, I want to say thanks to Elite Force, uh, there is a large variety. Uh, of course, I mean, these are from other companies, but there's a large variety of parts, which is also good. It's nice knowing that you can upgrade what you have right from the get-go you don't have to wait or anything now of course some of these could be out of stock but typically evike is pretty good with getting stuff uh pulled in from their shelves relatively uh quickly so yeah this is basically an overview on stuff you guys can uh basically get if you do want to run your uh <laughs> if you basically want to turn your glock into a, a submachine gun boy yeah so let's get into some gameplay for you guys Alright guys, so this is a little short gameplay of what I caught with the Glock 18C. Just so you guys can kind of see the performance and how it plays on the field. Uh, yet again, I've never been to this field. This is a brand new field, so I'm not as aggressive as normal. But I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Please enjoy this gameplay. If you guys like to support the channel, go ahead and subscribe. And also smash that like button. You guys are crazy. I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Stay one down? Oh, I guess not. Yeah, <laughs> I see that shit. <laughs> Wait, shooting through the barrel is not allowed, right? Yeah, you can't shoot the barrel. Oh, my bad. Okay. Okay. Whew, watch it. He's right down the center. Ooh, I see your tracers. <laughs> hey, I'm crossing. Oh, my bad. Oh, this what? Dead man. Hey, dead man walking. Yeah, that's a lie. I know you took that mag out. Sorry, You want to move with that shield? Uh, sure. Well, go. We're going to move up. I want to try to get out of this chokehold we got. Use that shield to call him out where you see him.
Sonny. Contact straight down that alleyway. Watching your right. Okay, start moving up. Start moving. No, no, no. Okay. We're gonna push right. Oh, good shot. 